Okay, so to start off, the Jacob Festival has turned so much. The start of yelling at you. You use this piece of cheese, why are you screw up so much? My sympathy just kicked you out of the house. You, I don't want you to appear in my house anymore. Get out and don't come back. <laughs> do you think that it's wrong or harsh? Hey, do you think it is? <laughs> What's the question? I don't, yeah, I guess. Do you think it is? Please, I got kids to see. And I will tell you the reason why after after I finish my presentation. Okay, so the news took place in India, in a place, in a city that I can't even pronounce. So there was a family. <laughs> Give it a try. Give it a try. It's, it's like a combination of keys and presents. <laughs> uh, there was a family. A uh, father, a stepfather, and then a 14 year old daughter. So, um, the parents fixed her marriage against her wishes and went on to inform her. Okay, so let's create a scenario here. If one day your parents come up to you and say, you're gonna marry, uh, let's say, Miss Bergson. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna attend a uh, few marriage rituals. What's, your, what's gonna be your reaction? No. <laughs> <laughs> her reaction was the same as this. So, no, wait a minute, I got time for that. <laughs> so, um, she was so mad, that I was so mad that um, there was smoke coming out of her head. So, what's next was punishment. So, there the girl was. And after a moment, there she was. But she's just a girl and she's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that they burned? <laughs> <laughs> and the stepmother set the girl on fire. And they started just going to stand there and watch her. <laughs> Joke no, it's not. Little <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the district sound of the girl suffered 80% of scuts. burn injuries, and fortunately, she escaped that by the skin of her teeth, and the uh, parents were arrested. So, there are a couple things I learned from the story. First, maintain a good relationship with your parents. So, listen to them as much as, much as you can. And don't say no until the very moment. So they're never gonna give you up, they're gonna let you down, they're gonna run around, search you. And second, we are we are people that we care for and love. And we all want to line up their world like nobody else, but burning them, not a good idea. And the last one, simply live while we're young. Uh, don't wake up in the morning and go like, Today I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to lay in my bed. Get out and you know, play golf or party in the USA. Because you never know what's going to happen to you the next second. You might get a heart attack. And trust me, you don't want your friends to do anything they don't want to do to you. So do the things that you got to do when you have the chance. And go for the famous or third person you like. So while we get old, we get to our <coughs> grandchildren. Then we were once shining bright like diamonds in the sky. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, okay. Anyway. Hand it in. 
It's a little bit too glib. I find the idea of making a joke and this whole thing out of like some woman having her body burn, eighty percent of her body. Have you even had a burn? Or even a bad sunburn? <laughs> yeah, but it's like. Have you ever had your your skin just bubble up and fall off? Yeah. No. <coughs> I have, and it's hell. That was on a patch of my whole my hand. That's like two percent of my body. Eighty percent. Jesus. Awful. All right. But I do appreciate the color, but just maybe not about something so devastating. You better say that though. Oh God. It's not going to be a little...